a deadly blaze at New Lucky House in Jordan last week has triggered intense debate on whether aging buildings in Hong Kong are properly regulated and maintained. While the mixed-use tower is also home to 35 licensed guest houses and about 100 subdivided flats, it was found to have ignored an order to repair or upgrade its fire safety equipment for 16 years. Lawmaker Michael Tian hit out at authorities for lax enforcement of the rules. The building, they issued that order six years ago. Today, they still haven't done anything. All right, so you need, it takes two to tango. The legislation needs to be uh, really strengthened and toughened up, and then you have to have the enforcement. Tian noted owners' corporations are sometimes granted more time to comply with orders, so long as they provide a reasonable explanation. But he felt there should be clarity on why and when discretion should be given. Appearing on the same radio program was fellow lawmaker Tony Tse, who represents the architectural and surveying sector. The surveyor agreed the existing fire safety regulations were outdated and required a revamp. We have to, you know, to amend this ordinance as soon as quickly. And also, you know, and then the implementation and the enforcement of, uh, you know, the, the regulation. Otherwise, you know, people, you know, may not, you know, pay too much attention or, you know, um, they, they might you know, try to drag on some, some, some of the requests. As of the end of last year, the Buildings Department and the Fire Services Department have issued 360,000 fire safety compliance orders after inspecting around 11,000 buildings. Remedial works have been completed for less than 40% of the cases so far. Cheryl Yun, Cable News.